Hey, what's up and welcome back to Fiverr Talks. My name is Joel and today we're talking about bad reviews. Is getting a bad review the end of the line for you as a Fiverr seller? <laughs> I don't believe it is, but today I'm going to give you my top five reasons why you should persist and keep moving even if you get a bad review. That's right, today we're helping you through your bad review scenarios here on Fiverr Talks. But if you're new to the channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Joel Young. I've been a seller on Fiverr since 2013. I'm one of Fiverr's all time top earners, and I'm a top rated seller. And every single week, three times a week, I share videos like this right here on the channel to help you become the best possible Fiverr seller you can be. So if that's interesting to you and you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing. Today, I'm going to share with you five reasons why I don't think bad reviews are the end of the road for you as a Fiverr seller. This is one of the top questions that all of you leave me in the comments down below. I've been doing great work and somebody left me a bad review. What do I do? Is it the end of the road? Should I stop and open a new account? Maybe I should move to Canada or maybe I already live in Canada. Maybe I should move somewhere else. What do I do? Trust me, I have been there. I've sat right where you're sitting. I even still sit there every day as I do work and hope and pray I don't run into a buyer that's not pleased with the quality of work that I'm delivering to them, even though I'm trying extremely hard. So today we're going to talk about five reasons why I believe bad reviews aren't the end of the road for you or any other Fiverr seller out there. You can overcome them and you can move past them. But before we jump into that, I thought I'd ask you a quick question for today. We want to hear what has been your worst review experience. Maybe someone left you a bad review that you didn't deserve. Maybe someone left you a bad review but said they did a great job. Tell us the weirdest, the worst, the strangest bad review story you have and leave it in the comments down below. All right, let's get to my top five reasons why bad reviews aren't the end. Are you ready? Line them up. One, two, three, four, five. Woo, let's go. The first reason I believe that bad reviews aren't the end for you is that I believe buyers expect to see some bad reviews on everybody's page. The reason I believe that is because Amazon. That's just the reason, because Amazon. No, go to Amazon, look at some of the most popular products, products that have great reviews, tens of thousands of reviews. Maybe they've got an average of 4.8 stars. You will still find one star reviews on those product pages. You know why? It's because the people that typically leave reviews are people that are either really happy or really unhappy. And Fiverr is no different. I think most people that leave reviews are probably leaving them because they're very happy. A lot of people that are upset don't even bother to leave reviews. And those that are really upset tend to leave one star reviews. It's just the way the internet works. And I think it makes you human to a potential buyer. Someone that looks and says, well, they've got a lot of great reviews. Well, there's a few people down here that didn't have a great experience, but everybody doesn't love everybody. I think buyers expect to see some bad reviews. Even great products on Amazon have one-star reviews and even great sellers on Fiverr have a few bad reviews here and there. As long as the majority are good, I think that it'll all even out. The second reason I think you'll be okay with a bad review is that not everybody reads reviews. This is something that I find shocking all the time. There are a lot of buyers on Fiverr that just don't read reviews. And I gotta say, I'm one of them. I look for people that have a lot of experience, meaning a lot of reviews, but I'd rather look at their portfolio. I'd rather see what they've done and what they're doing than read about someone else's experience with them. If they can deliver the product that I see in their portfolio, then I'm not really concerned with their reviews. And so bad reviews are something that we as sellers worry about all the time, but not every buyer is even concerned with. Now, are a lot of buyers gonna read reviews? Probably, that's what the internet is set up to encourage us to do. Research something before we spend money on it. But I also think there are buyers out there that aren't going to read your reviews, they're gonna look at your work and it just won't matter to them. The third reason a bad review is not the end for you is that some buyers only read the reviews near the top. If you go to your profile page on Fiverr, you're only going to see the top few reviews. It's just gonna be right there. Every gig page is the same. It's chronological, so your most recent review is at the top. If you've had a bad review and it was a while ago and you've had other reviews since then, it's already covered up. And unless they really start to dig and say, hey, let me see what the bad reviews say, they're probably not gonna see it. If they peruse the top of the review section, they're probably only gonna see great reviews if it's been a while. I think this is about to become a theme for this video, but not every buyer is scrutinizing your review section the way that you think they are. So 
let's all just calm down a little bit. I got two more. You better be ready for them. The fourth reason is that people with less than five-star reviews get orders on Fiverr every single day. There is proof that you don't have to have a perfect five-star rating for somebody to buy from you. There are less than perfect sellers getting orders every single day. Thousands, if not millions of orders come through to buyers with less than perfect ratings, with bad reviews on their profile, and I believe as long as it's not a pattern, a pattern of unsatisfied customers, then you too could be one of those sellers that gets an order when you don't have a perfect rating. Believe me, it's no shock to people when they find out you're not perfect. All right, my fifth and final reason why I think bad reviews aren't the end for you is gonna be encouraging, and it's my hope that you found all of these tips encouraging, but I think this is the most encouraging tip. The fifth reason is because body of work is more important than single reviews. Like I've said before, patterns matter. And if your body of work is high quality, if your body of reviews is in general positive, then I believe that is gonna outshine everything else. When people visit your page, they make their buying decisions in a matter of seconds or minutes. They don't sit there and study your page for hours looking for every single little detail about you. They're looking for a first impression. In case you didn't realize this, your gig video is at the top of your gig page. Your gig description is at the top of your gig page. Your rates are at the top of your gig page, but your reviews are at the bottom, which means they got to go through a lot of info about you before they hit those reviews. And your body of work is going to speak louder than any review in your reviews section. So as long as that overall body of work is impressive and somebody can look at you and say, yes, I want to hire this person. I don't believe reviews matter as much as you think they do. Well, that's it for today. Those are my five reasons why I think bad reviews are not the end for you. I really hope that you get back out there. You keep doing, you keep working hard because it matters that you're on the platform. You're trying to change your life. You're trying to change the way that you work. And I believe that if you're determined enough, you can overcome a bad review and you can find any measure of success you're seeking. Thanks for watching today's video. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting this button right up here and subscribing. If you're looking for another video, then maybe try this one. It's a great video on the line. We've got a lot for you. And if you're a Fiverr seller, remember, keep doing because the future favors the doers.